Now, the other thing I was wanting to do here, as far as measuring, is I kind of wanted to <clears throat> go through and just start picking out some various measuring tools we've got here. We're talking about measuring. What, what do we got? How does this work? How does that work? These are real nice because they have the digital. And then I don't have to take my calipers and check it. I don't trust that as the final measurement. I will use it. I'll come up here and I'll go like, okay. But it saves me adding. It says 375. I trust that that's 375, 374, 373. I look at these to actually make my decision as to where it's at. Uh, you can adjust both of them. You can make them both where they're the same. I try to do that, but in case there's an inaccuracy, I trust the screw the most. So I always go with the screw as far as actually taking the reading that I care about. I'm kind of surprised this one doesn't have a vernier on it. Huh, I've got several of these. Most of these have got the tenth thousandths verniers around the side. That surprises me that one doesn't. Your micrometers come in different lengths. Normally they're in one inch increments. So you'll get sets that are like this one is a zero to 12. This is an inexpensive one. I've got some more expensive ones up there. Got a whole variety of them. Um, I haven't seen accuracy problems. Some people complain, oh my God, how are you doing machine work with Chinese stuff? There's stuff made all over the world that works and some that doesn't. It's more who bought it, how they ordered it. Um, an awful, there, there are some really crappy Chinese mics, but most of them bought from a, even a halfway decent distributor are pretty good. Um, it's kind of amazing. Uh, inside micrometers, which somewhere here we have a huge set of these too. It goes up to like 150 inches or something. But these are, these are little common ones that we use most of the time. And you have multiple rods. You put your indicator head on here. Real common with these that they uh, only go in a half inch increment. Some of them will travel a full inch on the bigger ones. I think my big one does. And uh, then you've got a spacer ring that goes on here to make up for the half inch so that you can count the other half inch. And these are different lengths. You can adjust these individually, but that is a real nuisance. Uh, hopefully, you buy a good brand. Uh, this is one of those things I like to definitely buy good ones and leave them adjusted because it's just a nightmare to go through them all and readjust it. But even if you think it's adjusted when you're doing a, a job with mating pieces where you know it needs to be accurate or where it's for some, you know, check it with a mic. You know, that's the reality is check, check the size you think you measured with a mic. See if you get the same number. Make sure that the mic was checked against the standard. Check it out. Ah, it's red mics. It's red mics. These are really good. What these are about is micrometer. You can measure threads with wires, which we also have. Put wires into your threads. What you're trying to do, you're trying to measure your thread in the middle of the thread. You don't want to measure the top point. You don't want to measure the bottom. You're trying to measure the middle. And so to measure the middle, you need something that matches the middle. And so these come with different anvils and uh, anvils and whatever they're called. I forget points or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, you have two pieces that fit together. Anvil and Whatever it's called today. Same thing tomorrow. I'm just not thinking of it. So they, you will set these. And when you set these, you will set these so that when they touch each other, that's where you zero it. You know, on one like this, where it's a zero to one. Um, if it were a different, uh, if it were a different one. And this one here is uh, the way this one, you loosen this and it friction allows it to move up and down. You need to have the right threads per inch, which each of these will have a range listed on it. And it's a little hard to see. This is for 60 degree thread, as you can see there. And then if we go over here, we have a couple of millimeter sizes and we have a couple of thread per inches. And within that range, this will work for measuring those threads.
And I have those, I think, through four inch. I don't know if I will remember it or not. Yeah, yeah. That was one my dad bought and I have never used. My dad was a mechanic, uh, mill, mill mechanic adjuster, doing printing machines for napkins and, and imprinting the uh, embossing on them back when they used to do a lot of fancy napkins years ago. Okay. Um, not that these are any great deal, but just that they do have cheap digital micrometers too. And I have really never played with these too much. I just didn't like them because you got to really be straight on to see the numbers. That was the big thing. It wasn't a matter of they feel good. I think they're accurate, but you can't be very far off and see the numbers where the Minitoyos you can. And when I bought those, uh, they were on a sale from one of the suppliers. I just thought it was a neat thing to buy, and maybe somebody would want it someday.